In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, uh, a calculus problem um, about derivatives and tangent lines. And a, a very normal problem uh, in an in introductory calculus class is to find the equation of a tangent at some point. So that's a pretty normal thing. Now, um, uh, I do some math tutoring, and I've seen a little bit of a variation on that recently. So, uh, so here's our curve, uh, y equals, uh, parabola y equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 8. And the question is this, to find the equation of a tangent, not at a point on the curve, but the equation of a tangent to this parabola that passes through some external point, and the external point in this case is the 4 or 5 point. So, for example, it would look like this. It goes through that point and, you know, touches the uh, curve some, you know, it looks like the tangent point is probably somewhere around 3, negative 1 here. So, um, and so I'm going to just place a dot there, or a point there. So, so we can't just take the derivative of the parabola and sub in some x value. We don't know exactly, you know, that might be 3, but maybe it's not 3. You know, maybe it's 22 over 7 or something like that. We, it's hard to tell, to, you know, that that point of tangency is exactly 3, negative 1. So what we're going to do is um, uh, I'm going to call that the point x, comma, and see, because the equation is y equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 8, then whatever x is, the y value would be 3x squared minus 12x plus 8. Because remember, that equation tells a relationship between x and y on the curve. And so whatever x is, the y-coordinate is 3 times the x-coordinate squared minus 12 times the x-coordinate plus 8. So that's why we can call that the point x, comma, 3x squared minus 12x plus 8. Now, we do need the derivative, so we're going to differentiate the, this. So, so we're just, just using power rule here. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6, and remember, decrease the exponent by 1, so it's just 6x to the first, or 6x. And the derivative of negative 12x would just be negative 12. So um, y prime, or dy dx, is 6x minus 12. Now, what we're going to do is, so this tangent line here, I'm going to use the slope formula. And uh, so we're going to get a general expression for the slope of this tangent line uh, between the point 4, 5 and this. So, um, so this is my, I'm going to think of this as my second point and this is my first point. So uh, in, in the numerator, y2 minus y1 would be this x value minus 5. So the 3x squared minus 12 bucks plus 8 minus 5. And in the denominator, we would, remember, we subtract the x coordinates. So it would just be x minus 4. And we can do a little bit of um, simplifying, collecting like terms. 8 minus 5 is 3, of course. Now, no matter where that point is, you know, and we could be talking about some other point on the curve. Um, well, we are specifically talking about 4 or 5. But the slope of that should equal the derivative because the derivative gives you the slope of the tangent line at any point in the curve. So we can equate to find what the x-coordinate is. So we're trying to find what the x-value is here. And then we'll get the equation of the tangent line. So we can equate this general slope calculation to the derivative to find out what exactly is that x-value, and then we can find the equation of the tangent line. So um, uh, I'm going to solve for x here. So I could think of this as uh, 6x minus 12 over 1. So, you know, I'm going to think of the 6x minus 12 as 6x minus 12 over 1. And so I'm just cross-multiplying here. So the 3x squared minus 12x plus 3 times 1 would equal the product of the x minus 4 and the 6x minus 12. So that's my next line here. And so I'm trying to solve for x, so I'm going to expand out the terms on the uh, uh, the right side here. So 6x times x would be 6x squared. 6x times negative 4 is negative 24x. Negative 12x times x is negative 12x. And negative 12 times negative 4 is positive 48. So let's, uh, all I'm going to do from, and I'm going to continue it up here, is I'm going to collect the, some like terms here, negative 24x, negative 12x. Uh, would add to negative 36x. So notice my left side is the same, right side is the same, except of course I'm writing negative 36x in the middle here. And I'm, I'm kind of noticing something I can do to simplify this, and this won't always happen, but in this case, notice that every coefficient here is divisible by 3. 
So we divide everything by 3, we get these terms, 6x squared divided by 3 is 2x squared, negative 36x divided by 3 is negative 12x, and 48 divided by 3 is 16. And so I'm going to uh, collect all like terms on the uh, right side here. 2x squared take away x squared would be 1x squared. Negative 12x would be plus 4x, or add 4x to both sides to simplify with the x terms. So that'd be negative 8x. And 16 take away 1 is 15. So this actually factors very nicely. We need to find two numbers that add negative 8 and multiply 15, which would be uh, negative 3 and negative 5. And so um, when I was running through this, I realized, oh, there's actually going to be two different equations for the tangent line. I've shown one here. I'll, I'll talk about the other one as well. So we would set each of these equal to 0 to solve for x. And of course, we'll get 3 and 5. So um, there's actually going to be two uh, equations of the tangent uh, tangent lines here. So uh, let's do the 3 first, because this certainly does look like the point 3, negative 1 here. So let's find the um, um, equation of the tangent line that goes to where x is 3. So um, uh, now you could use the point slope form here or y equals mx plus b. They're both just as convenient as one another. So uh, in order to find what m is, uh, I want to find what the slope is. So we, we now know that the x coordinate of that point is 3. So in the derivative over here, I'm going to substitute 3 in place of x. So 6 times 3 is 18, take away 12 is 6. So the slope of this tangent line should be 6. So here, uh, I'll sub 6 in place of x. And I'm, I'm using the 4, 5 point because I know it's a point on my tangent line. Um, I could have substituted the 3 back into our original parabola here to find the, what the y value is there, the negative 1. So I could use that point or that point. It doesn't matter. Um, they both are on the um, this tangent line. Uh, so subbing in the uh, 5 for y1 and 4 for x1 and expanding this. So 6 times x minus 4 is 6x minus 24. And then so adding 5 to both sides, already in y equals mx plus, mx plus b form, uh, equals 6x subtract 19. So that's the equation of the line shown here. Now, see, there, there's another um, equation here. And so if I draw a, another tangent line through that, see, it's, you can't see how high it is up the parabola there, but somewhere up there, the that other steeper tangent line is going to intersect the parabola as well. And so that point must have an x coordinate of 5. So that's where the other um, root from solving this equation comes from. So let's put 5 into the derivative. And so 6 times 5 is 30. Minus 12 would be 18. So we can see that you know this certainly is steeper. This one has a slope of 6. This was a slope of 18. And so uh, I'll substitute. Uh, uh, I'm using my point slope form again. So 18. So basically, this is the same as this because I'm still using the 5, 4 point. But I have a, a steeper tangent line because instead of the slope being 6, it's 18 now. And so uh, 18 times x is 18x, 18 times negative 4 is negative 72, and then adding 5 to both sides, we get y equals 18x minus 67. So that's the equation of that tangent line. Um, if, we, uh, if we take a look at on Desmos, so there's my point, and uh, you know I can substitute, where was my first, 6x minus 19. So y equals... 6x minus 19, so that's the original line. And then, so uh, let's take a look at the uh, second one. So it's 18x minus 67. So there's the steeper one. Of course, if I zoom out some here, oh yeah, you can see that it certainly does seem to be, you know, intersecting up here somewhere. Uh, see, it actually is actually um, uh, with an, uh, an x coordinate of 5, so you know, 5 would be right here, so the point of tangency is up around here somewhere. But that is that second one, the steeper one. So so that's basically uh, how this works. Um, you, you choose an arbitrary point on your curve using the equation of the curve, and then, e, and then find the slope of your tangent line between whatever external point you have and that um, um, arbitrary point on the curve, and equate it to the derivative to find out, you know, exactly where are the... Um, 
x values of the points of tangency, and then you can find your equation of your tangent line. So that's the basic procedure, and that's the end of the tutorial.